We are back on tour. We are in Parksburg, Pennsylvania today. I got more shark shirts in. Yeah! We have two new guys playing guitar for us this run. We're gonna see how that goes. Wish us luck. So this is cheese. This is cheese. AKA Queso. AKA Cheese Man. AKA Zach. He plays guitar for Seventh Day Slumber right now. And maybe forever. Depends on how good he does. <laughs> <laughs> This is Caleb. He's not Hi. technically new, but he hasn't been on the road with us for... Well, I wasn't on the road when he was with the road. Yeah, he, Maggie's never been out on the road with Caleb. It's been a few years. She's known Caleb, but she's never toured with Caleb. Let me introduce you uh, to the other Zach. We have Dos Leches okay. Zachs on the road. Yeah! And this is the other Zach. Gallopo, not Gallopu. <laughs> not to be confused with that. Zach is playing guitar for me and That's Seventh Day on this run. Oh, yeah. Zach, tell us a fun fact about yourself. Yeah. Dude, there's nothing fun about you. I don't know. <laughs> Zach actually knew Maggie before Magdalene Rose. Magdalene Rose. Yeah. He played a show That's with true. GFM. He played a show with time. GFM. Follow. Me and Zach go way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're getting ready to go on stage in Parkford, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Today's an off day, and we spent the entire day sending out emails to radio stations and magazines and podcasts and stuff, trying to get them to let me join their podcast so we can talk about my new song, Tea Beater, that comes out September 6th. So I've already got a few answers, so it seems promising. If you guys know any radio stations or have any friends who do podcasts, let them know they need to reach out to me. We're doing all of them. The little ones to the big ones. All the podcasts because everybody needs to know about my song Tea Theater. We're in Maine today on an off day and they made us lobsters. <laughs> he was going to try a lobster for the first time. Grace doesn't like seafood. Uh, push front. Did you get your tail off yet? It's a little scary. <laughs> Alright, now, with your claws, you're going to pop the iron off your claw, and then you're going to pop off the little digit, careful, water will squirt out. These are what's called soft-shell lobster. You'll want to use your picks on the knuckles so that we'll get to this point. There's the poop. Oh, that's lobster poop. I don't think that's it is. That's the brain. Oh, yeah, it is. That's the brain. I thought it was poop. That's the he brain. He said is... some people, if you're brave, will eat that. The brain? You just crack it and it spit yeah. out water. Okay. I think this is more similar to... Doing a great job. <laughs> She's doing all, this all off memory. And then there's corn and uh, mac uh, macaroni salad over here, too. Mm. Little kids have to look up to see me. It makes me feel powerful. That's on the tail. Quarter tonight. This is your first time having lobster? In Maine. I've had it before, but not Maine lobster. How is it? It tastes like the ocean. <laughs> it's like really 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 soft shrimp you've been eating the brain already yeah i've been eating on this thing look at that you ready oh god Itch. you ready yeah Oof. how is it delicious <laughs> why are you sticking your tongue out like why that why is your tongue so pointy good job hey guys we're in Vlog! we're in maine today I'd say we're in maine today we had lobsters yesterday, but we're playing in Callis High School. That's how he said it yesterday. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, but I'm just going by that guy. I'm about to go change, and then we're about to go on stage. How are you feeling about it? I look like I was crying. I just yawned really good. Now my eyes are watery and wet. About to go on stage. We gotta go. We're late. What's up, YouTube? So today... I don't know what the day is. Our show went really good last night. Today, I've had an off day. Seventh day is playing at Soul Fest, but it was a super last minute ad, so they didn't have time to add me to the lineup. I've been editing my makeup video. I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup. Me and Kino are just chilling in the bus right now. And Guthrie's on my lap. So we have a day off. And we're in the off. We went to the biggest Barnes & Noble in America. But I didn't get to go the last time we were in New York City. It has like three or four stories, so we're gonna go in. It's four stories. I looked it up before we got here to make sure I was going to the right one. Ready for this? Oh, nice, another door. They have escalators. Escalators! 50% <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 
and yet the same evidence would lead to Damon. Mean? Nothing. Move your hand. <laughs> Elena is drawn to both brothers, but she could never guess the truth. Both are vampires. Her sister was a witch. Bro, I just had to walk away because there was a girl in the Five Nights at Freddy's section, and Blaze went and told her that Shark Spray has the Chica jump scare. And I was not going to be, I was, <laughs> needed to get out of there as fast as possible. I heard him talking to her. I ran. I talked to him. I said, you a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's? I said, yeah. And I said, pretty cool. Did you see the movie? And then uh, the little girl said, yeah, oh yeah, I did. And then the guy that she was with said, she saw it. She really liked it. And I was like, that's cool. I was like, yeah. I actually heard this song the other day that actually like used the Chica jump scare. Uh, uh, used the Chica jump scare. I was like, yeah, it's a song. Uh, and they're like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, it was cool. It was, uh, I wasn't expecting it. It was like a metal song, uh, but it's called Shark Spray by Magdalene Rose. And hey, you guys should check it out. It was actually a pretty good song too. I, it caught me off guard. It was a good song, but they used the Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> jump scare noise. And then the guy goes, oh, dang. And I said, yeah. And then he goes, huh, I'll have to look that up right now. And then he started looking it up. Well, he had I, headphones on, I, by the I, way. I ran away. New fan alert. New fan alert. Hey. New fan alert. Place is now saying really loud, wow, isn't it crazy that you wrote a book and you have it here in Barnes and Noble now? How crazy is that? <laughs> so it other people crazy. will hear, I did not write a book. And he's trying to make people turn around and say, wow, you wrote a book? He won't leave me alone. I mean, I'm generally pretty good. How'd you feel? It was pretty cool. We're at the American Dream Mall. This place is huge. One. We're at the mall now. They have an H Mart. I found a purple yam thing. He's got some ramen stuff. We went and got hot pot. And we're partying. They're playing raving yet. This is sad because it was kind of mid. And it's going to be really expensive. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we're gonna try this again because it's a little quieter over here. So basically, we went to a hot pot. We thought it was gonna be like your typical hot pot experience. It's a very Americanized one. It looked like the beige mom TikTok aesthetic as a restaurant. You have to pay for everything individually. It was like $108. Yeah, it was. And the food was not good. We went to a Korean corn dog really. restaurant after because that place is still hungry. That was good. And he said that was one of his like favorite Korean corn dog places. Oh, oh yeah, we're about to I'm do the Ferris wheel. This. Ferris wheel, so. So we got the gold pass, so we have our own private gondola, so we don't have to share it with anybody. We made it. It goes 300 feet in the air, and we got our own TV. We're on that new Mario Road vlog. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Bro, I can literally just walk around in this thing. It's kind of scary. <laughs> That's Statue really of Liberty. Coming. It's that way. The Empire State Building is right there. Whoa. Trip is almost over. We're gonna leave these suckers with a surprise. It's ugly. Kayaki. It's ugly. But it's Hi. shaped like a French bulldog. Bulldog, bulldog. Kino, what's the what's his name? Gunther. That's Gunther. Gunther's name. It's this is trying a, baby bottle pop. This is an adult drink, by the way. I'm not drinking baby milk. It's a strawberry yogurt milk drink. Yeah, it's not an adult drink like alcoholic. Bulldogs. People that aren't babies can drink this. Adults can use baby bottles too. It was fine at first, and then I had like a weird aftertaste. <laughs> I like it. Save from the source. <laughs> <sighs> Makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> We're in North Carolina today. Merch table set up. It's an outside show. Let me see if I can show you the stage. A little bit warm, but I'm hoping it cools down by the time we have to go on stage. There's our little outdoor stage. So it's got like a little covering on it. So at least the sun's not beating down on us, but it is a little warm. King got locked in the building. Oh, I see. Bro. <laughs> Hey, you guys, hey, take care of my son, okay? Take care of Kino. <laughs> He'll be good. All right. I'll have Austin. Austin will raise him up. No, please don't let Austin. All right. You're free. I'm going to find another one.
<laughs> I think they locked all the doors though, so I'm gonna unlock this one. Oh, it's got you, boy. Wait, who opened it? I opened it. Oh. We're in Lenore, North Carolina today. They're setting up the stage. I'm about to do my makeup. I hope we have some food soon. I'm hungry. These are the boys at work right now. All right, so we're done with sound check. I got to eat. I did find the food. We're just waiting on the show to start. I'm gonna change in a second so I don't have to worry about rushing because the last few concerts, I have waited until almost too late to change and then I freak out and feel like I'm not gonna be ready in time. So trying to not do that anymore. I was hanging out in the room with Mr. Joe while he was tattooing, while I did my makeup and then was just reading through my devotion and stuff. But then I did sound check and set up my merch table. And then I just came in the bus cause I got cold. No one's in the bus right now. So I can just turn the AC off to sit like a lizard in the heat. Here's your reminder. I have a new song coming out. I'm very excited about it. We just finished our show in Lenore, North Carolina and Rachel and Lena were here. And Rachel brought me snacks, so we're gonna try them. I always get so excited when they come because they always know the words and they always tell me updates about Lena's like fan fiction book she's writing. And I'm so excited to read it. These are gluten free and dairy free. These suckers are good. I just really have chocolate on my teeth. Thank you very much. They are very delicious. What they don't know is I added, it's time to play the game. They're about to find out. You can't see him, but it's time to play the game. Hey guys, so I forgot to film today. Sorry about that. We had a show in Lancaster, Ohio at the Rock House 39 and it went really well. I wasn't feeling the best and I was kind of off my game mentally. So didn't have the best day today and I got a little sick during the show. So today was a little bit hard, but tomorrow will be better. I'm gonna go to sleep and make tomorrow better. We're in Iowa a day early because the place we're playing is connected to an arcade. So I did an interview this morning. I have another interview later tonight, but we're gonna go ride some go-karts. Austin and Maggie got in an accident. I bet it was Austin's fault. Austin out of the <laughs> How do you feel about the first race? They didn't have any music on or anything, and I feel like it was the most awkward go kart experience I've ever had. It's a little bit awkward, but we're about to go in for a second music one. On now. Austin's a little bit whiplashed after his last accident with Maggie. All right, here we go. They put me in the back because they know I'm the best. All right, my leg hurts, so I'm tapping Austin in. <laughs> Caleb tried to hurt Keys. tried to hurt Caleb. That's what Lewis Hamilton and I have Max Seven get right. Tried to wreck me, so I wrecked him. I did not do anything. <laughs> yes, you did. You dirty dog. I tell you what. You son of a goat. Wait a second now. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be in here, but nobody was at the you, front you of a laser tag, so we just wanted to look and see what it looked like. And yeah, like, literally. Just nobody's just in here. So we just kind of walked in. It's actually really sick. There's two floors. Caleb and Cheese are still arguing about the race. <laughs> no, no, wait a no, second. No, no, no. I feel like to settle y'all's differences, it needs to be everybody versus Caleb and Cheese. Force you to work on some teamwork. I'm exactly. on a team with that guy, okay? He said I only have one brain cell. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. I got a double kill. Cheese all the way from across. We found out that if you shoot the gun, it changes color. Shoot my gun. You shot me! 
Dang. I think I got last. Uh, no, That's a cold that. killer. It's time to play the game. Me and Cheese literally sat next to each other and just would shoot each other until we would respawn and then keep yeah. shooting each other. <laughs> <laughs> like just shooting for a solid two minutes. Rewarding shot. That's <laughs> <laughs> We're losing power. Power is turned off. Dang. It's raining I'm and storming and electrocuting the sky <laughs> a lot. It's hot at this time. <laughs> Dang, damn it. It turned off, yeah, what he said. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to that tonight. <laughs> We're back at the go-kart tracks. Caleb and Cheese are trying to squash their beef. Caleb, if Cheese beats you, are you willing to let it go? I respect him a race. If Caleb beats you, are you willing to let the beef go? I mean, it won't happen, but yeah. Caleb came out on top. Let's squash the beef. We just finished our show in Burlington, Iowa at the Catfish Bend Casino Event and Performance Center. I'm about to get ready and get in my pajamas because I'm tired. Somebody brought us a bunch of desserts though, so I might dig into those. Hopefully they don't make my stomach hurt, even though I know they will and I shouldn't be eating them, but... Hey guys, we are in Iron River, Michigan today. This is what my makeup looks like. I kept messing up, so my eyeliner kept getting bigger and bigger, and then I would try and match it, and I would mess up. These are new lashes I got from Dollar Tree because I ran out. <laughs> They're kind of cute, but I should have cut part of this off because it was stabbing my eye, and so it just made my entire eye water. I had to re-glue it like three times. It's a really pretty venue. It's like a, one of the older theaters. Also, we are officially a week away from releasing Teeth Eater. So that is very exciting. I apologize for not filming a ton lately. I feel like a lot of it is either just me like walking around the venue, showing the venue, or some of the guys talking. I have not had the best few days slash weeks lately. I've been trying to just continue to film and stay motivated because I know if I don't do that, it'll make me upset that I didn't film at least. So. Sorry that I haven't been chatting as much on here. I am excited. Teeth Eater is about to come out. We've been doing interviews and we've got a lot more scheduled. So that's exciting. A lot of people want to talk about it. And we've been playing it live. Got really good reception off of it. Lots of people have been pre-saving it. I got merch designs back and been posting about it in Patreon. If you haven't joined me on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash official Magdalene Rose. It just helps with financial support because doing music stuff is expensive. I also let people see things early, hear songs early normally after i leak stuff in the patreon then i'm able to talk about it in the discord so we've been hanging out there if you have discord if you join servers all the time the link to my discord server is in the description below yeah, i like to drop stuff in the discord as well but i don't directly tell them what's happening It's like a blast in the Lilo and Stitch one. So only in see what they do with the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> He's never Caleb's had a Baja Blast. about to try his very first Baja Blast selection. <laughs> <laughs> He's never even heard of Baja. He didn't even know what it was. So we'll see. Six out of ten. Six out of ten? You have zero taste, just like you have zero ability to drive a go kart. <laughs> oh, oh no! Man. Oh wow! One of us is gonna have to get fired before this tour. <laughs> He's watching Maggie edit her video. Today we are in Solway, Minnesota. Seventh day has a show today and then Mr. Joe speaking tomorrow. I think for like the Sunday service thing or something. I've had the day off, but I am not in my usual little rotting corner in the bus. The show they're playing provided a Airbnb for us. So I got to hang out in a house all day. Brought my food from catering here. I slept on the couch for a long time. It's been nice to be able to stretch my legs out. Kino was running around in here earlier. He literally just ran around the house because he was so excited <laughs> to not be in a bus. I'm currently working on the puppy interview that will hopefully be uploaded by the time this vlog is up. It'll be on my music channel. I've watched a bunch of the like celebrities do an interview while playing with puppies thing. And I wanted to do it and I know I'm not famous 
famous enough to do the BuzzFeed version. So I did my own and I messaged a freedom journey and Mandy let me come to the new property that they have. And we got to do our own little interview while I play with the dogs. And it's not just puppies. We brought in some of the big dogs too. So we were able to show everybody that there are big dogs that need to be adopted too. And I love the big ones. She's got some goofy guys. So there's a lot more dogs that need to be adopted, but we showed as many as we could that live on the property. That's what I'm working on right now. I edited it completely in Final Cut because CapCut doesn't auto snap the audio and that was so annoying. But now I'm gonna throw it in CapCut because there's a lot better text options and then hopefully it will be uploaded. And then I'm gonna start editing this video for my vlog channel. Blaze told me that if I finished this puppy interview, he would buy me Black Ops 2 on my PC because I really wanted to play Black Ops 2 Zombies. I know a lot of people think that game is cursed but it holds a special place in my heart and i haven't been able to play it because they didn't remaster any of those maps and there's a few that i never got to play because we didn't end up getting the dlc you gotta get one thing done at a time though this is going to random people's live streams on tiktok and telling them to listen to my song we got someone else to play gorilla warfare got up and danced earlier. Thank you so much for watching the video this week. I know it was kind of all over the place and it was like three weeks pushed into one vlog. So I hope you enjoy. We are heading to Unity, Wisconsin to play a show. So we got a few shows that are gonna be in the next vlog. There's a lot of festivals that'll be in that one. You got anything to say? Listen to Tea Theater. Oh yeah, Tea Theater's out now. So go listen to it. If you don't listen to it, you'll get cavities. Make sure you subscribe. See you guys next week. Bye.